Ooh. I'm gonna give you here a real quick uh, tutorial on how to install the text mod for Dead Space mostly. This is a black suit that you can only install with the text mods. It's mostly suit textures for Dead Space from what I've seen. But um, yeah, that's it wasn't quite that easy to get to work. That was the problem most so, so I feel like it's it's not gonna help some people if I drop a real quick tutorial here. Okay, the screen is black for a second. I'm gonna link you everything anyways, by the way. Okay, that's how the file looks right now. And um, when I press run, the game starts. But it won't be for you probably because you need to troubleshoot first a little bit so it starts. That's my game library, my Steam library. For me, uh, the game is in Data E. Steam library, Steam apps, common, dead space, and there is everything. Well, all the dead space files and access. Dead space was called dead space exa. I edited dead space original exa to get this mod to work. Also, the text file got a rename. It's right here down there below. Let me close that real quick. It gets a little bit complicated. I, I don't need to hold my controller. Let's get that away. Nice. Good, good, good. Okay. Everything works. Yeah. Yeah. Looks good. So if I open Steam, if you want to find your folder like that, it's under <laughs> properties, uh, over properties, search for local data, and then you get the folder down there open to but I don't need that. Okay, now I need it because it closed it. There. Cool. Good, good. Okay. Those two sites are gonna get linked. That's the important stuff. So we have a few mods here. A few suit mods to download. I've downloaded this one. That's the old black one that you saw. That's the easiest one, I feel like, because he gives you a good tutorial on how to do things. Also downloaded the tank suit and one other one. And there are a few different ones, like the bloody one, the scorpion suit. But I'm going to show you this one, because he gives the best tutorials and the best infos about how to get this mod to work. Utilizing the text mod tool. It's a tool, it's not a mod. It's, yeah, it has mod in the name. Okay, you can download... This mod, the text mod, right here. And you get that in your files, which you need to select the right folder, the dead space folder. You get a zip file that you need to extract or from the archive, which is gonna look like. That's not what I wanted. Well, all right here. Which is the original site, was also used for Tomb Raider, not Tomb Ripper. Let's get that off my screen. You don't need it, you just need to download it here if you want it for Dead Space anyways. Might not be that different for Dead Space 2. Let's just look into it. Am I on Dead Space 2 right now? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Is it also with text mod? Yep, also text mod. Okay, good to know, good to know. Okay, you need text mod for suit textures. Ah, I can get it like that. That's good, that's good. So you have that browser symbol, you click it, you use dead space exa, here's different ones, dead space 2, dead space 3, you're gonna use that. Then you have dead space exa targeted in here, this browser symbol and suit, uh, taking your suits. Then, well, fuck. Then this symbol right here, it's another browser symbol, a lot of browse or folder symbol. And then you're gonna look at your downloaded suits and put that into the left bar and then double click it. I'm gonna show you here real quick in a second. Where's my text mod? Okay, okay. Text mod. It's called text mod exe. I renamed it because it wouldn't work otherwise. That's how you have it and get it. Then dead space exe i need renamed it too so it works for me because if you run it the first time you probably get an, an error message and then you load all your suits in there you want and have downloaded you will probably need to browse through the dead space folders probably need to browse through that so i have that in here and the other ones are in here 
And what's the last one? Tank or black? Yeah. Double click everything just to be sure. And then you can run it, but most of the time you get an error message which we need to fix and get rid of. Thanks to the help of this site here, this link here. Okay, here's the Tomb Raider anniversary example here, but he renamed his exe file for Tomb Raider anniversary to Tomb Raider original anniversary exe. That's what I did. I clicked on it and renamed it original exe. And the same thing then, or pretty much a similar thing for text mod, renamed it in tar r exe. And then uh, after I renamed both, I uh, made the mod order or gave in the mod order we just had previously loaded all the mods in. Double click them. But now you don't press run. You go to Steam and press play here, Spiel and display. And then you get into the game and you can use your mods. The second time though, if you exit out and run it again, you need to run it through here and not through Steam. If you run it after you have installed that and everything works, you're getting um, this thing. It's gonna act Russian forever. It's gonna take forever though, it's not gonna be quick probably. Oh, this time it actually was quick. Let's see what happens. Um... Okay, sure now. Upbringing. Let's just, just just run it the second time. You've got it to work through this app, and then the game loads. Yo, and that is basically it. Not more to say about it. Dropper shooting. If that doesn't work, look into the post section of those mods. That might also help you. But that's best. It's gonna get a remake anyway, so. Well, it might help for you that space too, but like you see, all black suits still on. And it works like that. Yo, thanks for watching though. I have a dead space gameplay. Let's play right now on the channel if you want to watch that with mods, reshade and this armor mod newly introduced because I didn't have the time to mod myself that into the game beforehand. Yo.